welcome back everybody um so as you can see i was buffing the front of the boat there in the beginning clip and my first time really buffing anything uh i don't think it was coming out real well or i just don't know what i'm doing so i ended up actually going to harbor freight picking up this guy uh it was on sale got it for a pretty good price got some pads and some rubbing compound high gloss polish so i'm going to try and re so i'm going to try to use the this tool to buff the surface but i might have to uh, wet sand it some more i mean it's not terrible but there's definitely still some scratches in the surface here um so yeah i'll be working on that probably later today and I also put in some gel coat. I've just brushed it on. Um, I'm just gonna do one coat. So I'm gonna go over this with the palm sander and make it all smooth. And then actually the final flooring will be that foam-like teak looking flooring stuff that I'm gonna be putting on the floor. So you won't really see the white gel coat. I went and picked up this, this aluminum uh, angle piece. So I'm going to use this for a transom cap. So it's probably going to be cut to 41 inches. I'm going to cut two of them and then place them on either edge because this is just over 40 inches but um, kind of curves up in each corner a little bit so you figure out how if that's going to be an issue or not. And glue and screw that down to the top of the transom. Got this E6000. It works good with an aluminum. So I didn't want to get something that was going to corrode aluminum. So that should work well with aluminum. So basically what I'm going to do, put this down on the top of the transom, squish it in there. And then uh, I also have screws, so I'm going to screw it in as well. But that will just, but this piece will just be used to protect the top of the transom. Got my drain plug, so I'm officially seaworthy. We can pretty much just put this in the lake today and go uh, just slap my nine and a half Evinert on there and just go put, put around. You know, it's kind of tempting. I'm just gonna work on the transom cap and get that sorted out. Hopefully put on there nicely. 40 and three quarters. So here's my piece. Okay, so I got both of these pieces cut out and uh, just kind of rounded the, ed the edges and the corners to make them all smooth. So I got these two pieces. So what I'm going to do is, this guy will go on the front like this. And then, it's going to have this back piece sit over the top. I bought some fancy screws for, for the, uh, finishing touches and my door's locked and then I got these screws that will fasten it to the uh, transom So I got these fancy louvers. Are they called louvers? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> these are gonna go over here, over this. Uh, 
Um, yeah. I was either gonna fill in that hole or f cover it with this. And the reason I decided to cover it with this is because, I mean, if you ever wanna put cable steering back in the boat, you got those holes. So I put these little uh, foam mounting pieces on and they're sticky on both sides. So that's how it's just gonna look. <laughs> there weren't many options of types of vents to um, like this size that would go over any holes that I had. So I think that will be fine for what it is. Just got this, uh, so I got my rub rail soaking in the sun, get it nice and pliable. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the boat finally. So what I'm gonna do actually, I drilled a hole right here and I'm gonna basically drill, put a screw through the bottom of the rub rail so that the corner will stay in place and I'll wrap it around the whole boat. I also got this 5200 marine adhesive that I will be putting inside the rub rail. Here we go. You can't really see it. Well, there it goes. So I'll just be putting it in the crevice along the whole the whole length. So that will help it. That will help it stick to the boat properly. And I got Phil and Jonathan here, they're gonna give me a hand, right guys? <laughs> so it shouldn't take too long. Look how shiny that is. It's like glass. Anyways, so let's, uh, yeah, I got this stuff. I'm gonna pop a hole in the end and we're gonna get to installing the rub rail.
Well, it looks like a boat. Here we have it. <clears throat> the gunnel whale. That's what it's called, the gunnel whale. Put it all on. I use that adhesive, put it on the inside and pulled it, pushed, we pulled it and then pushed it in around the whole side. So, I think it looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna probably get uh, some end caps for the molding here. I need to figure out what kind of end caps to get and where to get them. I think I found some on Amazon. I just need to get the right size. So that's that. So this is what it looks like. Kind of just opens up and has a little rubber teeth in there. So what we did was it just filled that gap in and then pushed it over the whole lip around the boat. So if anybody's looking for some of this gunnel wheel stripping, I found it on a website called marinewarehouse.com. I think it's .com, maybe it's dot something else, but I'll be putting the, uh, the link in the description. It came from Australia, because that's the only place I could find it. There's like five or six different sizes of this gunnel wheel stripping on the website. So you just gotta measure the stuff you need um, and let them know what you want and email. The molding that came off my boat was similar to this. Not quite the same. It had a little bit of a different shape, but I couldn't really like find it anywhere here in America. So, and the stuff that I could find, I found, I found the stuff that I needed. Basically, there's like six different companies in Australia that sold this type of gunnel wheel stripping or rub rail, whatever you want to call it. And I ended up just emailing the one company and they had it and they were able to ship me uh, the length I needed and was able to fit it nicely on my boat. And I think it looks real nice. Couldn't really uh, ask for a nicer rub rail, if you ask me. So at this point, I'm just gonna let this dry because it takes actually seven days to cure. Um, yeah. So basically just gonna let it sit for seven days and then 